Probably the biggest advantage of building your own custom mechanical keyboard is that the options when it comes to the switches is almost limitless, as opposed to your typical off-the-shelf keyboards where you've got a few Cherry MX or Gatoron switches to choose from, there are many aftermarket switches out there that you've probably never heard of that offer a much more premium typing experience. Now, of course, if you're a mechanical keyboard enthusiast, then a lot of what you're about to see is probably familiar, but if not, then you've probably never heard of the Novel Keys Blueberry switches or Cream switches or the tactile ZLPC Zelia switches. So let's climb a bit deeper into this rabbit hole and see what these are all about. So if you've yet to explore the vast land of these aftermarket mechanical keyboard switches, then this video will definitely serve as a nice little guide. And if you are familiar, then you'll at least be able to see many of these switches side by side and compare them. First up, some tactile switches for those that like a little bit more feedback from their switch. And let's start with the Novel Keys Blueberry switches. This is a relatively new switch. They have a bottoming out force of 80 grams, so a bit on the heavier side, a fairly deep actuation point of three millimeters and a really unique aesthetic with those vibrant blue stems. Key switch actuation is right at the end of that long and relatively heavy tactile bump. I wouldn't recommend these for competitive gaming for that reason, but for those that want a typing experience with a lot more tactility, these are definitely worth considering. The stem and housing is made of a self-lubricating POM resin, which is said to offer an extremely low friction coefficient. And overall, these are a fairly smooth switch. Next up, we have a very popular tactile switch option from Zeal PC, the Zealios. These are tactile but non-clicky switches, offering a smooth stroke with a noticeable bump for feedback. I did notice that the tactile bump on the Zealios feels a bit smoother than on the Blueberry switches, which in my opinion feel a bit more like a step. There are four switches in the Zelio series with different bottoming out forces and small tweaks between them, 62 grams, 65, 67, and 78 grams. This allows you to really fine tune the way your keyboard feels, whether you prefer a lighter and easier typing experience or something heavier and more pronounced. Otherwise, there definitely aren't major differences between them that I can tell. Only 78 grams stands out as the variant being noticeably the heaviest. So don't think too hard between 65 grams and 67 grams in my opinion because they feel almost identical. The big thing that stands out with these switches is just how smooth they feel while at the same time offering a really pleasant tactile bump with a nice roll off. We also have the Xilent tactile switches, which are basically Zelio switches, but a lot quieter. The switch bottoming out and topping out sound has been reduced significantly, and the way that this has been done is by adding dampeners to the top and bottom of the stem. They still have the same tactile bump and feedback as far as I can tell, but are much easier on their ears if you're typing in a quiet environment. You can also hear a bit more of the spring on the Xilent than the Zelios. But let's say you don't really want a quiet keyboard and you actually want something really loud, super clicky, and you want everyone to know you have a mechanical keyboard, well, definitely consider the Novel Keys Kalebox Thick Clicks. Just don't bring them into work. As opposed to the previous tactile switches that we saw, which generate a tactile bumper from the leaf and the stem, these feature a click bar and a pretty thick one. This bar gets pulled down by the stem with each press and then releases back, creating that loud and defined click. One thing I did notice with these switches though is the small amount of pre-travel just before the stem actually meets the click bar. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in picking these up. Next up, let's take a look at some of those lesser known linear switches out there in the wild. And we have to start with the Novel Keys Cream switches. These feature the same self-lubricating POM housing and stem as the Novel Keys Blueberry switches. So they do feel very similar structurally and the switch stroke is nice and smooth. 
you will still get a noticeable benefit from lubricating them though in my opinion. The actuation point comes in at 2mm making this a more suitable choice for gamers and the bottoming out force is 70 grams. If you're looking for a linear switch that is a bit lighter or something with a more unique aesthetic, the Mido laser switches might just be what you're after and are easily one of the coolest looking switches I've ever seen. I know they're hiding underneath your keycaps anyway, but still super cool nonetheless. The Cyan switches have a 60 gram bottoming out force, whereas the pink switches are slightly heavier at 70 grams. The difference is noticeable, but not major. Also, one thing I'll say is that although both the pink lasers and the Novel Keys cream switches both have a bottoming out force of 70 grams, the creams do feel noticeably heavier, a bit closer to 75 or 80 grams. However, this next switch might just be my favorite linear switch of all time and perfect for those who want something slightly heavier, but definitely very smooth out of the box. So these are the Gatoron Ink Blacks and if you're someone who doesn't want to go through the extra work of lubricating the internals of the switch, these I can definitely recommend. Out of the box they have almost no internal friction at all and are just super buttery smooth. So I'd say these are perfect for a slightly heavier switch and me just preferring linear switches in general, I really like these overall. And to round things out, we have the linear options from Zeal PC. First up, the Telios V2, which is exactly what I'm using in my own mechanical keyboard build and I've been super happy with. These feel extremely similar to the laser switches that we looked at in the beginning, the 70 gram ones. I'd say they're fairly close in terms of smoothness and feel, but the Telios are just slightly smoother. And for a truly silent and buttery typing experience, we have the 62 gram Securios, 67 gram Rosilios, and the 63 and a half gram Helios. So just like the Zeal PC tactile silent switches, these have silencing bumpers on the top and bottom of the stem for that sound dampening. There's really not much more that you could want from a silent linear switch. They're all extremely smooth. And for those wondering, you can feel the difference between the heavier 67 gram switch between the 62 and 63 gram and personally, I think the 67 gram is perfect. And this roundup of switches is just really the tip of the iceberg for all of the possible switch options that you have out there. But for those looking to get started with a custom mechanical keyboard build, you really can't go wrong with any of these options. For a tactile build, I can highly recommend the Zelios lineup. And for linears, all of the options that we had a look at have a really nice and premium feel. So just choose depending on how heavy you like your switch. If you are interested in picking any of these up, I will have some links down below in the description. As always, a huge thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.